What does it really take to change the world? If your goal is to make a long lasting impact, whether that's through starting a nonprofit or social enterprise, a socially responsible business, running for public office, or helping out through service or activism, what are the characteristics and traits and skills that you should work on in order to increase your chances of success at making an impact? That's what I'll talk about in this video. Throughout history, the people who have helped change the world share many common traits. Ever since I was a kid, I was fascinated by people and events that changed the world, by leaders and heroes who inspired others and made things just a little bit better before they left the earth. This fascination led me to travel across the country volunteering, major in social change leadership at my university, start a nonprofit with a mission of inspiring others to take action and it eventually led me to you where we're here connecting on YouTube as you watch this. And if we haven't met before, hey there, my name is Amber Melanie Smith. I'm a nonprofit founder and executive director of the nonprofit that I started. I make these videos here on YouTube to help people who want to make a difference, whether that's through starting a nonprofit of their own, starting a socially responsible business, helping others through service or activism, as I mentioned before, basically all the various ways that you could possibly change the world. I'm here to share the things that I've learned in the hopes that it will help you out too. And if you are starting a nonprofit, be sure to check out my website, foundertofulltime.com. I've got some trainings and resources there for you. I also have a newsletter that I send out for nonprofit leaders and change makers of all types. I'll leave the links to those things in the description below. And just one more little thing before I get into our topic of the characteristics that it takes to change the world. I just want to say, Thank you. All of you who are watching my videos here on YouTube are change makers in your own way. And I have had such an amazing time getting to know you, connecting to all of you people throughout the whole world. Um, it's, it's just astounding to me how interconnected um, you can be here on YouTube. So I just wanted to acknowledge the community of change makers that we've had growing here over the past couple of years um, through this channel and share my appreciation and gratitude for you. All right, let's get into this. If you are setting out to create massive positive change in the world, good leadership and strength of character are core things you've got to have. So here are 10 characteristics of people who change the world. Let's go. Characteristic number one is vision. If you are going to change the world, you have to know what changing the world actually looks like. What does the world look like once you have helped change it? Not only do you have to be able to clearly envision this vision, you also have to be able to clearly articulate this vision to others. And it's important that you're able to keep this vision simple enough for the masses to understand while also not being embarrassed by big or seemingly lofty goals. We all know that eventually we were able to make it to the moon and that started with a big, clearly articulated, simple vision of getting to the moon. That takes us to characteristic number two, and it tags along to number one, and that is being a strong communicator. You might have the biggest dreams and the best vision ever, but if you can't get people to understand it, it's not gonna get you very far. Some of the people who have changed the world and are most renowned throughout history for making an impact have all been very strong orators and speech givers and able to really communicate their ideas very effectively. And here's one other thing I wanna say about that. Learning how to communicate effectively is a skill. If you don't feel like you have the skill already, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged. You can work on it. I know, for example, that I was terrified of public speaking several years ago, but after a lot of practice and getting comfortable with my message, I now rather enjoy it. So practice is definitely key. And if you're not sure whether your message is clear, try it out on someone and see what feedback they have for you. The third characteristic of people who change the world is 
curiosity. You have to be curious enough to want to dig into the complex problems that you're trying to tackle in the world. You also have to be open-minded and agile mentally enough to change directions if you discover an assumption that you had was incorrect. So curiosity is definitely a trait that you need to have if you're going to make an impact because it will allow you to change course and go on to in a more effective method of making an impact if you discover that one is out there. Kind of going along with curiosity, the fourth trait is humility. In other words, knowing that large scale positive social change does not occur because of the actions of just one single person. A 2016 article in Forbes magazine talked about the traits of inspirational leaders and found that inspirational leaders commonly believe in collective power of people. In other words, the power of the group over the power of the individual. The fifth trait is the ability to see strengths in others. I just talked about how inspirational leaders are able to believe in the collective power of the group over the individual. Well, in order to inspire people to take action, you've got to see the strengths that they have, the talents and the assets that they bring to the table and be able to help them understand how to use those talents in order to help the cause. Sixth is continuous growth. You've got to have a commitment to always learning and growing as an individual, looking upon all of the skills that you can expand upon, the new things that you can learn, the perspectives that you can seek to understand and figuring out how you can become the better, most best version of yourself. And according to entrepreneur.com, this also happens to be a trait of some of the most successful entrepreneurs out there in the world. The seventh trait is stamina. Stamina or determination or grit, in fact, is definitely a very important skill for people who are changing the world to have and to cultivate because unfortunately, a lot of social change is very complicated and can take quite a long time. You've got to be in it for the long haul because you might not see results until years later. And if you don't stick around, you might never see those results at all. So stamina and the patience to understand that it's gonna take a while to change the systems and the things that have always been a particular way uh, is going to do you a great service in your journey to change the world. And look, I can tell you as a fellow impatient person that this can be one of the hardest things to, <laughs> to be willing to accept. But I will say something that helps me look towards the long term is celebrating small victories, having an awesome team around me who is also in it for the long haul, and just making sure that we are acknowledging when we are making progress. The eighth trait of people who change the world is vulnerability. And I mean this in two different ways. The first is you've got to be brave enough and be willing to risk looking silly sometimes or put yourself out there and speak up whether you are alone in doing so or the first to do so. The second type of vulnerability I'm talking about is an emotional vulnerability that you would have with other people around you people are more likely to connect to a human, authentic leader than they are to someone who comes across as fake or insincere. And that vulnerability is a very impactful way of showing that you are a real person with real feelings that deeply cares about this cause. The ninth characteristic of people who change the world is trustworthiness. And I think that this goes along with the vulnerability which can help you build that trust. But People who change the world throughout history have prioritized trust and integrity and honesty. People are more likely to fulfill their obligations to one another or believe that someone has their back if you have that mutual trust when you're trying to create social change. There are a lot of stakeholders who are involved in so many different complex social issues out there in the world. And there's a lot of mistrust that is an obstacle to solving some of these problems. So someone who has a great ability to cultivate trust in others is going to be very effective in creating positive change. And the 10th and final characteristic I'm going to mention today of people who change the world is listening and inviting others to have a voice. 
As I said before, it takes a lot of people and a lot of movement and momentum to create positive change. And the people who've been able to successfully do it have been those who have uplifted others and listened to their feedback and their needs as they went along through their actions to make an impact. Not only does listening help you build that trust and those relationships, but it also gives you very valuable information to let you know if you are making actual progress. And if you're not, this feedback can help you change course, as I mentioned earlier. I would love to hear from you at this point. Did I leave out traits that you were thinking of for people throughout history or maybe even in the modern day who you know are changing the world or possibly even yourself? Because I truly believe that you are all change makers and have change maker potential within you. Um, which ones are you personally the most interested in working on for yourselves? What are the traits that you see in leaders around you who are inspiring you today? leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as I mentioned before, if you are starting a nonprofit or working on some of these change-making efforts yourself, be sure to check out my website, founderedafulltime.com and my newsletter. The links are in the description below. Finally, if you are on Facebook, I invite you to come check out my group, Change the World or Bust. We have thousands of people in there from around the world. It's really inspiring. Every one of them is trying to make an impact in their own way, and I just know that you would fit right in. So come check that out and join the group if you're so inclined. I hope that this video was interesting or helpful or inspiring in some way. Please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.